Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is morning prayer for Friday, October the 4th. It's the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi. It's also the 19th week after Pentecost and week 6 in the Psalm Cycle. Thanks for joining me. Happy feast day. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia. Alleluia, hear my prayer, O God most high. Let my cry come before you. Alleluia. Psalm 102, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, hear my prayer, O God most high. Let my cry come before you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me and answer me speedily in the day when I call. For my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is stricken and withered like grass. I am too wasted to eat my bread. Because of my loud groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I'm like a desert owl of the wilderness, like a little owl of the waste places. I lie awake. I am like a lonely bird on the housetop. All day long my enemies taunt me, and those who deride me use my name for a curse. Indeed, I eat ashes like bread and mingle tears with my drink because of your indignation and anger, for you have lifted me up and thrown me aside. My days are like a lengthening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, O oh God, are enthroned forever. Your name endures to all generations. You will rise up and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to favor it. The appointed time has come, for your servants hold its stone's ear and have pity on its dust. The nations will fear your name and all the kings of the earth your glory. For you will build up Zion, you will appear in your glory. You will regard the prayer of the destitute, and will not despise their prayer. Let this be recorded for a generation to come, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Most High. That God looked down from the holy height, from heaven the Most High looked at the earth. To hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who were doomed to die, so that the name of the Most High may be declared in Zion, and God's praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples gathered together and kingdoms to serve the Most High, you've broken my strength in mid-course, you have shortened my days. O oh my God, I say, do not take me away at the midpoint of my life, you whose years endure throughout all generations. Long ago you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you endure. They will all wear out like a garment, and you change them like clothing, and they pass away. But you are the same, and your years have no end. The children of your servants shall live secure. Their offspring shall be established in your presence. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, hear my prayer, O God Most High. Let my cry come to you. Alleluia. Today's the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi, and here is the short biography from the book Lesser Feasts and Fasts. Francis was the son of a prosperous merchant of Assisi and was born in 1182. His early youth was spent in harmless revelry and fruitless attempts to win military glory. Various encounters with beggars and lepers pricked the young man's conscience and he decided to live a life devoted to lady poverty despite his father's intense opposition. Francis totally renounced all material values and devoted himself to serve the poor. 
In the year 1210, Pope Innocent III confirmed the simple rule for the Order of Friars Minor, a name Francis chose to emphasize his desire to be numbered among the least of God's servants. The order grew rapidly all over Europe. By 1221, Francis had lost control of it. Since his ideal of strict and absolute poverty, both for the individual friars and for the order as a whole, was found too difficult to maintain. His last years were spent in much suffering, of body and spirit, but his unconquerable joy never failed. Not long before his death, during a retreat on Mount Laverna, Francis received, on September 14th, Holy Cross Day, the marks of the Lord's wounds, the stigmata, in his own hands and feet and side. Pope Gregory IX, a former patron of the Franciscans, canonized Francis in the year 1228 and began the erection of the great basilica in Assisi, where Francis is buried. Of all the saints, Francis is the most popular and admired, but likely the least imitated. Few have attained to his total identification with poverty and suffering of Christ. Francis left few writings, but of these, his spirit of joyous faith comes through most truly in the Canticle of the Sun, which he composed at Clare's convent of St. Damien. The hymnal version begins, Most High, Omnipotent, Good Lord, to thee be ceaseless praise outpoured, and blessings without measure. Let creatures all give thanks to thee, and serve in great humility. Amen. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Most high, omnipotent, good Lord, Grant your people grace to renounce gladly the vanities of this world, that by following the way of beloved Francis, we may for love of you delight in your whole creation with perfect joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power, working in us, can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Happy Feast Day.